Yeah, see, that's a, that's kind of an example I was talking about of him threatening my body a little bit more. He's he's not as vertical. Yeah, his right. first yeah. couple steps are right down the middle of me. Yeah. Um, so it's it's a little bit different, but that that's how he likes to set it up. So he's coming right down the middle of you. And then what I think makes him and his cross shop unique is his ability to jump off that inside foot right there and completely change his rush angle from 45 degrees down the middle to, you know, a little bit more vertical straight up the field. And so, yeah, you have to, you have to be in the spot, be good with your feet. And then it's just a brawl with the upper body. Yeah. And I feel like this is kind of the key, you know, moment in the, in the rush, you know, with that, that inside jab step, you want your feet to stop this little hop back that you do right there to create that little bit of space. I feel like it's so key because if your mm -hmm. feet did stop here, you'd shorten the corner a little bit, but I feel like you kind of just that little vertical kind of step back. I feel like that just kind of, you know, kind of widens the corner, I guess, is a way to say it, or, you know, what yeah. I'm trying to say? it's just, yeah, like that's pretty key. You know? What he wants to do is to take up all that space, you know, and get up on my body. Mm -hmm. So you can see, obviously, there's a cross chop, which is with his left hand. Yeah. But then after the cross chop, you can see his right hand try to grab my back shoulder pad right there. Yep. And he only gets to my elbow. Yeah. And if he got to my shoulder pad, which is about where he would have been if I didn't hop back, then yep. it's over. Exactly. exactly. So 